Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Do you know a puppy that when they approach you or when you walk up to them, they just get so excited. They wiggle all over. And of course, as you're petting them, they're just so excited that they pee. Just a little bit, but sometimes it gets the owner embarrassed. Or if it's you, you get frustrated. Why is my puppy, why is my dog peeing when I go to pet them? Well, that's excited pee or what we call happy pee. This is what we're gonna talk about in this video so that your puppy can learn to control their excitement and you'll be able to pet them without your puppy doing a happy pee. Welcome to Diamond Dog Training where we offer you positive, effective training tips to help you train your dog. Please remember, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you receive all the episodes. A puppy that does a happy pee is, believe it or not, much easier to help solve the problem than a puppy that's afraid. In my last two videos, I put the link in the description below and also at the end of this video. My puppy pees when he's nervous and my puppy pees when he's scared. Our two videos that talk about helping a dog that's unsure about someone approaching. So if you have a puppy that's excited and they're silly, the way to help your puppy is very similar to a dog that is nervous or scared, but it should be an easier fix. First thing you need to do, ignore the puppy peeing. I know that's hard. You're either embarrassed because your dog has peed while someone else is petting your dog, or you're frustrated because your dog has just peed on your carpet and you're saying, oh, why? But if you don't ignore it, if you call attention to it, if you say, what did you do? It's going to start a vicious cycle. And your dog is going to say, not that, oh my goodness, my owner's going to be angry if I pee. Your dog is going to start to say, oh my, when my owner comes home, they get angry for some reason. And you know what? Your dog is going to pee even more. So first thing is ignore it. Second, you need to understand why your dog is peeing. Yes, they might be young, they're a puppy, they have immature bladder, all that, and it will go away and the problem will be solved. But let's look at why your puppy is peeing as you or another person approach. So look at these videos. First one is of a dog. And you see the dog snarl and show teeth? Well, in the dog world, that's a bad sign. That's aggression. So compare this. Now look at these three people. First one, there's a woman and she is making direct eye contact with the camera, never looking away, never blinking her eyes, and smiling. Second one, same thing. She has glasses, which makes it even more of like two eyes looking at the camera. She's smiling, you can see her teeth, all those things. And the third one, here's a really friendly man, opens his arms, looks at the camera, smiling. Now think about it. In our world, those are all signs of friendship. But in your dog's world, teeth, arms coming at you, smiling, staring, those are all signs of aggression. So if we can put all of our thoughts away and we can think of it, look at it in the way your dog understands our body language, it will help your dog to overcome this issue of excited peeing. If any one of these three people in this video would have been looking at a dog, that dog would have done what's happening in this video. Look at this dog, turning its head to the side, licking its lips, doing everything in the dog world to try to diffuse a situation of aggression 
and show that you're a friend. Here's the difference between two worlds. If you have a dog or a puppy that pees when you pet them, this is what you should not be doing. And Nikki and I are gonna demonstrate. I'm gonna walk up to Nikki and I'm gonna walk up to her very quickly. I'm going to look at her and stare at her. I'm going to continue to make eye contact and I'm going to shout in a very loud or very deep or a very squeaky voice. And I'm going to pet her on top of the head. Now, you can see even as I was doing all that, she even laid down. She could feel the pressure of me intimidating her. So those are all the things that you should not be doing. So what can you do to help your dog to have confidence so that when you walk up to them, they are not going to pee when you pet them. First thing, don't walk directly up to them and don't walk up to them quickly. You are taller than they are, you're intimidating, and try not to smile. You know, when you smile and you show your teeth, it's just like that dog that was aggressive in the video. So what do you do? First, you walk up and not directly to your dog, you walk in a curve. Your dog is there, you're gonna walk in a curve. You're not going to make direct eye contact. You're gonna turn your head to the side, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And you're gonna blink your eyes, just a little, just to let your dog know that you're not gonna intimidate them. And your dog is more likely to not pee. Then, Instead of going on top of their head, you're going to tickle them under the chin. Just a little bit. I wouldn't like somebody patting me on top of the head. So I'm gonna tickle them under the chin and scratch their chest and just come in from the side so your dog doesn't feel so intimidated. And then if you can sit down you can also sit down, that makes you much lower. Other things you can do to help your dog, let them come to you so that when you call them, they come over to you. Then give them something to do. Most dogs outgrow the excited pee. The puppy that just gets so excited when they see you. You can help by not paying a lot of attention to your puppy right before you leave and when you first come home. Now, I know you need to get there and get them out of the crate and everything else, but try not to make eye contact. Try to turn to the side, snap on the leash, and take them outside so they can pee. So these are all things to help your dog to build more confidence so that you can walk up to them and they're not going to pee. Whether it's excited pee or whether it is nervous pee. And remember, just like I was treating Nikki for looming over her, for shouting, for looking directly at her, that little bit of food helps your dog to think, gee, it's not so bad. So you can always pair food with any of the actions that you feel might be intimidating to your dog. If you'd like to see more tips about how to help a nervous dog, here is the video above that can help you, give you more tips on helping your dog. And here is a video on a harness to keep your nervous or excited dog safe. The Roughwear Flagline Harness, which has that extra strap to keep your dog from slipping out. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me some comments on how you've helped your nervous or excited dog. Thank you. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training.